Installation Guide for the Wood Wyant Chemical Dispenser. The first step is to remove the mounting rail from both the right and left enclosure and the unit itself. As you'll see on each enclosure, the mounting rail snaps easily off the back of the unit. The next step is to remove the mounting rail from the unit itself. First, to press the button on top of the dispenser to remove the cover, and then the next step will be to remove the interior manifold. Once this is complete, you'll notice two black tabs on the rear of the unit. Clip those to the outside, and this releases the mounting rail on the back of the unit. You now have all the necessary pieces in order to hang the unit and enclosure on the wall. The next step will be the assembly of the mounting rail pieces themselves. This is a three-step process that will be the same for both the right and left enclosure. As you can see, the first step will be to slide on the initial mounting clip and then the rest of the rail for the right enclosure, and then repeat the same process for the left. Make sure to use a level when installing the mounting rail. Make a mark for each of the six mounting positions as shown, then use a 932nd drill bit to install the provided screws. Now you're ready to mount the dispenser onto the mounting rail. Start with the central unit first by placing the unit over the mounting screws. Flip the support brackets to the inside until they firmly clip, and then insert the safety screw. Notice you'll follow the same procedure for each enclosure. Start with the left enclosure, place the unit on the mounting screws, and flip the brackets to the inside. Again, as mentioned, you'll do the same procedure for the enclosure on the right. The final step in mounting is to insert a safety screw in the back of each enclosure. The next step is to reinstall the interior manifold. Make sure to flip the water inlet nozzle upward, then insert the manifold back into the unit by sliding the discharge tube through the bracket and then click the entire manifold into place. Next is installation of the metering tips. Push in a tip at each chemical port, but make sure to consult the provided tip kit to ensure that you're using the correct tip for the required dilution. During this next step, we begin to install the pickup tubing for each chemical. First, you'll need to thread the provided tubing from the enclosure through to the main unit and then cut to desired length. Since the product will be fed to both a high flow and low flow eductor, the next step will be to install the provided Y barb from the accessory kit. To maintain prime from the Y valve to the adductors themselves, you'll need to install two check valves. Cut two tubes to desired lengths, place over the Y barb, then install a check valve for each line. Then, the next step is to provide tubing from the check valve to the adductor themselves. Again, as before, cut two tubes to desired lengths, then slip over the barb on both the check valve and the adductor themselves. Remember, one tube will go to the high flow adductor and the other tube will go to the low flow adductor. The final step for providing pickup tubing for each product is to insert the chemical cap. To do this, cut off any remaining tubing within the enclosure, then simply slide the cap onto the tube. 
Remember, these steps are summarized on the provided guide that needs to be hung on the back of each enclosure. Now you're ready to run the chemical. Simply place each half gallon container into the enclosure and firmly screw on the right connect cap. Make sure to repeat this same procedure for all four chemicals, then lastly, clearly label each pickup line. The next step is to install the water inlet hose. Simply insert the hose up through the bottom of the unit with two points of note. One, make sure to thread the hose behind the pickup tubing inside of the unit. And secondly, make sure to provide yourself enough slack so that you can easily screw the hose into the nozzle. Discharge tubing will need to be installed onto each eductor. The shorter bottle fill tube will go on the left eductor and the longer bucket fill tube will go on the eductor on the right. Simply slide the tube over the barb on the eductor and then with the provided clip, hang the tube on the enclosure on the right. At this point, all internal installation is complete. The last step is to simply snap the front cover back onto the front of the unit. The final step in the installation process is to appropriately label the front of the unit.